Hi friends. So welcome to Jeevan Academy. So we are seeing one of the important area that is Asaf Jahis of Hyderabad. Yeah, Asaf Jahis is going to choose the name. Asaf Jahis. Asaf Jahis. Asaf Jahis of Hyderabad. So in that Asaf Jahis, we saw this first rule of Asaf Jahan is Amul Milk. So after that, we saw Asaf Jeng. Then Mujafar Jang, Salabat Jang also. Then we are saying this Nizam Ali Khan. Nizam Ali Khan came to power. In Nizam Ali Khan, a Prajani Kuchadu. Nizam Ali Khan. Nizam Ali Khan, he came in the year 1761 and continued till 1803. Nizam Ali Khan. From the period of this one only, they are called Nizams. Previously, they were called Nawabs. So, Hyderabad rulers, they were called Nawabs. But from the period of this Nizam Ali Khan, they were called Nizams. From this period, from this period, from this period, they were called, they were called, okay, from this period, they were called Nizams, calling them Nizams, okay. And he was the ruler who shifted the capital from Aurangabad to Hyderabad in 1770. In the year 1770, what happened? So he only shifted the capital. So this is of John Nizam. So Wilmilk's period, Aurangabad was the capital. So then in the period of this Nizam Ali Khan, okay, in the period of this Nizam Ali Khan only, what happened? The capital that was shifted. Capital was shifted to, okay, this capital. Capital was shifted to shifted to Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Okay, Hyderabad. So in 1770, in which year? In the year 1770, by this Nizam Ali Khan. Okay, Nizam Ali Khan's period went well, like that we can say. So, because in the period of this Nizam Ali Khan, he was a contemporary of so this Mysore rulers, Mysore state rulers. One is Hyder Ali, one is Tipu Sultan, you know all. Hyder Ali, he was father of Tipu Sultan. Hyder Ali came to power in 1761, in the same period. He also came in the year 1761 only. He was born in the year of 1761 He was the contemporary of so this Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan. So he was the Nizam Ali Khan. Nizam Ali Khan was the contemporary of was the contemporary was the contemporary of Nizam Ali Khan was the contemporary of Hyder Ali and Tipu Sultan. Hyder Ali and and Tipu Sultan of Mysore state, of Mysore, of Mysore state, like that it was said. He was a contemporary of these two, that you have to remember. So he was a contemporary of Hyder Ali as well as Tipu Sultan. So like that he continued, he continued till, so they said in 03, like that it was said. During the period of this Nizam Ali Khan, many important things they happened, I told you. Previously, in the last class, we discussed how this Rajamandri agreement that took place. According to Rajamandri agreement only, so this Northern Sarkas were given after that in the year 1788. In 1788, Guntur was given to the British. After that, in 1802 only, Nellur was given to the British. So then, how this Royal Seema region, they were given that also we have to see. He supported the British in every activity. So, and against this Tipu Sultan, at last he got Kadapa, Guram, Konda, Ballari regions from this so Tipu Sultan. Because by supporting, by supporting this, okay, so by supporting the British, this Nizam, Nizam Ali Khan supported the British, Nizam Ali Khan, Nizam Ali Khan supported supported the supported the british 
supported the British against supported the British against Tipu Sultan against Tipu Sultan against this Tipu Sultan okay against Tipu Sultan so in uh, so which one so in this uh, third Carnotic war third Carnotic war 1790, 1792, 1790, 1792, he supported this one. So, Chepusultan, against Chepusultan, in Third Carnotic War, in Third Carnotic War, Third Carnotic, Third Carnotic War, like that it was said. So, and from Tipu Sultan, what happened? Tipu Sultan accepted and uh, Sri Lanka Patnam Treaty that was to uh, taken place. Sri Lanka Patnam Treaty that was taken place and a peace treaty that took place between so Tipu Sultan and the British. Tipu Sultan go British Variga Madhya, Mudava Karnataka Yadam, Sandhi Yadi and Sri Ranga Patnam Sandhi and Yantanam. He is Sri Ranga Patnam Sandhi to Misandhi. Dini Prakara Marichu say, so there is, he accepted to pay 3 crore 60 lakh rupees, Mudukotla Arava election, Arsabariyaram Chalinchadu to the British and Japan Sea and Tunum. So like that, so things went on well in the period of, so this one. So in Third Carnotic War in Yenam, it was in the year 1790, 1792 and Japan Have you got idea up to this? In Third Carnotic War, that was ended with the Treaty of Sri Lanka Patnam. From that treaty, what happened? From this Mysore rulers, so this Nizam of Hyderabad, Nizam Ali Khan, he got Guram Konda, Kadapa and Ballari regions. He got all these regions. This third Carnotic War ended with the Treaty of with the Treaty of Sri Ranga Patnam. Treaty of Sri Ranga Patnam. Okay, with this treaty, what happened in the sense? So the British got compensation from this Mysore ruler, Tipu Sultan. And after that, what happened? This Nizam was given. So these places, some places were given to Nizam. Which are these places which are given to Nizam? If we see that, so one is Guram Kunda and one is Ballari at the same time. So one is Kadapa. All these are given to so this Nizam. Okay, these areas are given to. So according to this one, so Nizam got this Nizam of Hyderabad. Nizam of Hyderabad got some places like some places some places like Guram Konda that is one and at the same time Kadapa Guram Konda Guram Konda that is one Kadapa Ballari regions Kadapa Ballari Anantapuram etc some parts of Anantapuram etc regions etc regions so he got like that it was said so okay previously they were under the control of Mysore ruler so like that that's all happened in the period of this one but what happened that enmity developed when these uh, areas are given to this Nizam automatically Tipu Sultan developed enmity against this Nizam that's why this Nizam entered in subsidiary alliance with the British this Nizam entered in subsidiary alliance with the British okay with the because of the threat of Marathas as well as the threat of this Mysore because of because of the threat of because of the threat of Mysore rulers Mysore rulers Threat of Mysore rulers, Mysore rulers and Marathas, Marathas, he decided to enter into, so there is subsidiary alliance. He entered in subsidiary alliance. So he entered in, he entered in subsidiary alliance. Subsidiary alliance and Yanandini. Subsidiary alliance and INT. So there is Sainya Sahakara Upandam. In Telugu it was called Sainya Sahakara Upandam Lo Cherna Bharadesham Lo Ni Mudati Palakudu Nizam Ali Khan Ani Antunam. He was the first one in India to join subsidiary alliance. Bharadesham Lo Ni Indulu Cherina 
మొదటి వ్యక్తి నిజాం అలీ ఖాన్ సైన్య సహకార ఒప్పందం ది సబ్సిడియరీ అలయన్స్ దట్ వాజ్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్డ్ బై సి ది సబ్సిడియరీ అలయన్స్ సబ్సిడియరీ సబ్సిడియరీ అలయన్స్ వాజ్ అలయన్స్ వాజ్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్డ్ సబ్సి అలయన్స్ వాజ్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్డ్ ఓకే దట్ వాజ్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్డ్ ఇన్ సెవెంటీన్ నైంటీ ఎయిట్ బై లార్డ్ వెల్లస్లీ బై లార్డ్ వెల్లస్లీ బై లార్డ్ వెల్లస్లీ బ్రిటిష్ గవర్నర్ జనరల్ సో అకార్డింగ్ టు దిస్ వన్ ఇట్స్ ఎ మిలిటరీ అలయన్స్ వై కెన్ సై దే సబ్సిడీ అలయన్స్ ఈజ్ మిలిటరీ అలయన్స్ వెన్ ఎవర్ వన్ ప్రొవిన్షియల్ రూల్లో ఎంటర్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ అగ్రిమెంట్ ద బ్రిటిష్ విల్ ప్రొవైడ్ ఆర్మీ ఆర్మ్స్ అండ్ అమ్యూనిషన్ ఆల్సో అండ్ దే విల్ ప్రొటెక్ట్ ద దాట్ ప్రావిన్స్ ఫర్ దాట్ ద రూలర్ ద ప్రొవిన్షియల్ రూలర్ సో ద ఇస్ ద ప్రొవిన్షియల్ రూలర్ షుడ్ గివ్ సమ్ ప్లేసెస్ సమ్ ఏరియాస్ ఆర్ సమ్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్స్ ఆర్ సమ్ మనీ ఆర్ సమ్ అమౌంట్ టు దిస్ బ్రిటిష్ ఫర్ దేర్ ఫేవర్ ఓకే సో లైక్ దాట్ సో హియర్ వాట్ హ్యాప్ అండ్ సబ్సిడియరీ అలయన్స్ వాజ్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్డ్ ఇన్ సెవెంటీన్ నైంటీ ఎయిట్ బై లార్డ్ వెల్లస్లీ దాట్ ఈస్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఇంపార్టెంట్ పాయింట్స్ యూ హ్యాట్ రిమెంబర్ హూ ఇస్ ద ఫస్ట్ వన్ ఇన్ ఇండియా టు జాయిన్ in india the first one to join the subsidiary alliance was subsidiary alliance was nizam ali khan so this subsidiary alliance is military alliance this is military alliance the british will provide the british will provide the british will provide arms and ammunition arms military first military was provided provide military military arms and ammunition arms and military arms and ammunition arms and ammunition and protect that province and protect and protect that province that province okay if anyone joins in return the provincial ruler should give some regions or some money to the british so like that this is called subsidiary alliance introduced in the year 1798 so by lord wellesley okay accordingly so in india who was the first one to join this one indulo cherna mottamodati vadu nizam ali khan ni antunam so who was the first one to join so this subsidiary alliance it is nizam ali khan nizam ali khan so joined this and in return he gave ceded districts to the british okay so he was the first one nizam ali khan was the first one to join subsidiary alliance nizam ali khan nizam ali khan was the first one was the first one was the first one joined okay subsidiary alliance joined subsidiary subsidiary alliance okay subsidiary alliance and in return so the british provided him big army arms and ammunition all these thing the british provided army the british provided army to him the british the british provided him army provided him army with that so he gave ceded districts to the british with this okay help with that with that with that so nizam ali khan gave ceded districts to the british which are called ceded districts anantapuram karnool kadapa and ballari they are called ceded chitur did not join during that time with that nizam ali khan nizam ali khan nizam ali khan gave nizam ali khan gave ceded districts to the ceded districts to the ceded districts to the british ceded districts to the a british like that it was said so ceded districts have been given to the british by this one which are called ceded districts anantapuram 
Karnul Kadapa and Ballari, they were called Sidi districts. Okay, so they were given to the British like that, it was said, which are called Sidi districts. Sidi districts include, okay, Sidi districts. Sidi districts include, Sidi districts include Anantapuram. Headquarters was Anantapuram. So, which are included in this? Anantapuram, that is one of the important one. Anantapuram, that became the headquarters. Karnul, Anantapuram, Karnul, Kadapa, Kadapa and Ballari. So, and Ballari. So, they were given to the British. Ballari. Okay, seeded districts. So, they include all these. So, these are all given to the British by this Nizam Ali Khan as a regard. So, when they provided army to this Nizam Ali Khan, Nizam Ali Khan in return, he provided all these to the British. Like that, he lost Royal Zima region and he also lost Andhra region. So, this Nellur was given to the British in the year 1802. So, like that, complete Andhra and Royal Sima went under British Madras Presidency. Okay, Nellur was given to the British. Nellur was given to the Nellur was given to the British okay, in 1802. In 1802 only, Nellur was given to the British. Okay, with that, so complete Andhra region went under the British. At the same time, Royal Zima also went under the British. So Nellur went under Southeast British. Complete Andhra and Royal Sima. Complete Andhra. Complete Andhra. And Royal Sima regions. And Royal Sima. Royal Sima regions. Royal Sima regions went under the British. Went under. Went under the British. Like that. So that all happened. So they went under Madras Presidency. So this Royal Sima went under Madras Presidency. Andhra also went under. Madras Presidency. ये दो कोड़ा Madras Presidency के अंदर वेले नेट लगा तले सुनते हैं। वो टाइम वो आंध्र नाम। राजमंडरी एग्रीमेंट प्रकार में पढ़े हेड उन्हें लारवाई आ रही लो। 1766 लो इच्छे दे दिए एंटे आंध्र आनी एंटे नाम। तरवाते मो 1800 लो इच्छे से डिवनी। So they were given in 1800. So they were given in 1800 AD. 1800 AD लो एवं निगुड़ा इच्छे से डू। Who was the first collector? Who was appointed by the British, Thomas Munro. Thomas Munro was the first collector who was appointed by the British so for the seeded districts. Seeded districts name that was changed as Royal Sima by Godicherla Harisar Uttamarao. Nini ki peru marchindavaru. Seeded districts name. Seeded districts. Seeded districts name was Changed as city district's name was changed as Royal Sima, as Royal Sima, changed as Royal Sima. So by Gaudi Charla, Gaudi Charla, Hari Sarvottamarao, Hari Sarvottamarao, Gaudi Charla, Hari Sarvottamarao only. Change the name of the city districts as Royal Sima. That you have to remember. Okay. In Nandiala Andhra Mahasabha only, that was changed. Gadicharla Harisar Vottamarao. In Nandiala Andhra Mahasabha. In Nandiala. In Nandiala Andhra Mahasabha. Andhra Mahasabha. In Nandiala Andhra Mahasabha. दिनी पैरों मार्चने लगा तिलसंद दी ये मनी पैरों मार्चे डू रायल सीमा बेकार सिक्षण देवर रायल एडमिनिस्टर्ड सो दिस रायल सीमा दैस बाय इट वाज कॉल्ड रायल इलना सीमा रायल सीमा जब पैसे ही पैर पटरन जरिए इन दिन जब पैसे नम हु वाज द फर्स्ट कलेक्टर हु वाज अपॉइंटेड वो दे सीडेड डिस्ट्रिक्स � appointed to the first collector appointed to appointed to seeded districts was 
सीडेड डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स सीडेड डिस्ट्रिक्ट्स वॉज सर थॉमस मनरो सर थॉमस सर थॉमस मनरो सो द सर थॉमस मनरो ही वाज गुड एट तेलुगु लैंग्वेज ही स्पोक तेलुगु लैंग्वेज वेरी फ्लुएंटली ओके ही वाज गुड एट तेलुगु लैंग्वेज एंड स्पोक तेलुगु वेरी फ्लुएंटली लाइक दैट सो दैट ऑल हैपेंड इन द पीरियड ऑफ सो दिस वन सो दिस यू हैव टू रिमेंबर what i do so like that the first collector appointed to seeded districts seeded districts was sir thomas munro okay like that so all these important things sir thomas munro this thomas munro introduced the raitwari system in royal seema region raitwari system means few people are farmers directly paying the tax to the government that is called raitwari there were no middlemen in raitwari system first time raitwari system that was introduced there in bara mahal 1792 bara mahal tamil nadu with the help of british officer alexander reed alexander reed only so this thomas munro alexander reed so they introduced this raitwari system later it was introduced even in rayalaseema region by thomas munro got idea like that anyhow andhra rayalaseema went under control of this british in the period of nizam ali khan that is important whose period they went under the british nizam ali khan's period only they went under the british okay this thomas munro introduced with alexander reed thomas munro this thomas munro thomas munro with alexander reed with alexander reed with alexander reed introduced okay introduced introduced raitwari system raitwari system okay introduce a raitwari system so that is important raitwari system raitwari system first introduced in bara mahal tamil nadu in the year 1792 later it was introduced in rayalaseema okay so thomas munro with alexander reed introduced the raitwari system first it was introduced there in bara mahal first it was introduced in first it was introduced in okay bara mahal tamil nadu bara mahal it was introduced there in bara mahal tamil nadu okay tamil nadu got idea so like that there's one of the important things uh, which happened in the period of this when so in this system farmers directly paying the tax to the government will take place in this system in this system in this system e vidhanam lo in this system farmers farmers so there is farmers directly farmers directly farmers directly pay the tax farmers directly pay the tax to the government directly pay the tax to the government there were no middlemen indra middlemen evaraina untaru ante no middlemen indilo middlemen evaru undaru okay madhyavartulu undaru jagirdars gani jamindars gani sisu vasulu undaru raithe neeru ga sisu chalinchadam jarugutundi ikkada mosaniki takkuva ga undadu kani so tax ekkuva ga undi idi అలా మరి సౌత్ ఇండియన్ రీజియన్లో దీన్ని మొదటగా ప్రవేశపెట్టడం జరిగిందన్న ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఇవిట్ బాగా రైతువారి సిస్టమ్ దట్ వాజ్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్డ్ బై హూమ్ లైక్ దాట్ ద క్వశ్చన్ వాజ్ ఆస్క్డ్ థామస్ మన్రో అండ్ అలెగ్జాండర్ రీడ్ రైతువారి సిస్టమ్ ఫస్ట్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ ద దేర్ ఇన్ బారా మహల్ తమిళనాడు ఓకే ఇన్ సెవెంటీన్ నైంటీ టూ ఇన్ సెవెంటీన్ నైంటీ టూ మొదట సెవెంటీన్ నైంటీ టూలో ప్రవేశ ఆ తర్వాత ఎయిటీన్ హండ్రెడ్ నుంచి ఎయిటీన్ నాట్ సెవెన్ వరకు ఈ థామస్ మన్రో సీడెడ్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ కలెక్టర్గా పనిచేశాడు ఫస్ట్ కలెక్టర్ ఆఫ్ సీడెడ్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ థామస్ మన్రో ఓకే ఎయిటీన్ హండ్రెడ్ ఈ వాజ్ అపాయింటెడ్ అండ్ కంటిన్యూ టెల్ ఎయిటీన్ జీరో సెవెన్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ సిస్టమ్ ఫార్మర్స్ విల్ డైరెక్ట్లీ పే ద ట్యాక్స్ అని అన్నాం ఓకే ఇలా ఇదంతా అని చెప్పేసి అంటున్నాం థామస్ మన్రో యాక్టెడ్ యాజ్ కలెక్టర్ ఆఫ్ సీడెడ్ డిస్ట్రిక్ట్స్ థామస్ మన్రో థామస్ Monroe acted as 
acted as collector of collector acted as collector of cd districts he acted as collector of cd districts cd districts from 1800 to 1807 after that he became governor of madras presidency okay so he was appointed as so governor of madras presidency like that it was said so in the year 1820 he was appointed as governor of madras presidency and continued at last he passed away in 1827 okay these are all happened in the period of nizam ali khan began nizam ali khan continued till 1803 nizam ali khan's period continued till 1803 that's one important point you have to remember then after shifting the capital nizam what happened in the sense concentrated on the administration uh, well being of people etc they also took place in the period of this nizam ali khan okay in the period of this nizam ali khan so there is a, so french officer in the period of in the period of nizam ali khan nizam ali khan nizam ali khan french officer raymond helped him before to join the subsidy alliance so nizam ali khan in the period of nizam ali khan french officer french officer raymond french officer raymond helped okay helped nizam helped nizam prior to join this agreement prior to join prior to join subsidiary alliance prior to join subsidiary alliance he subsidiary alliance lo cheraka mundu okay so idu ni sahakarinchina tondi french adhikari raymond ani antunam raymond he raymond mari chusinatlaithe he was very good very amicable to people he raymond baga chaala amicable ga unnatlu ga telustundi so this raymond only assisted or helped nizam ali khan when nizam ali khan asked this french raymond to establish an arsenary arsenary ante ayudha karmagaram so then at gun foundry so arms factory or arsenary that was established by raymond so they are there for this nizam ali khan nizam ali khan kosam for nizam ali khan especially raymond established raymond established raymond established arms factory arms factory raymond established arm factory arms factory at gun foundry at gun foundry at gun foundry abids gun foundry abids okay so when the nizam asked him when nizam asked raymond to establish so this one so the arms factory that was established by raymond like that it was said when nizam asked him to establish okay raymond established so the arsenary or arms factory at gun foundry so on the request of on the request of so on the request of on the request of nizam ali khan nizam ali khan okay on the request of nizam ali khan so this uh, told you that uh, this raymond was very good very honest at the same time whenever he gets a salary half of the salary that was given to the poor and the needy for their well being okay so that's why people used to call this raymond as musa ramadu people used to call so that you have to remember people used to people used to call raymond people used to call raymond as musa ramadu as musa ramadu musa ramadu okay so like that he became very close to nizam 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 ali khan that is also one of the important points you have to remember okay so then at musaram bagh 
especially on the name of this Musa Ramdu only. Musa Ram Bagh that was established by this Nizam. His tomb located there in Malakpet. Okay, his tomb located where in the sense Malakpet, Hyderabad only. Okay, like that. So this Raymond he became very close to Nizam and very close to people also. People used to call him Musa Ramudu. So on the name of Musa Ramudu, okay, on the name of, on the name of, on the name of Musa Ramudu, on the name of Musa Ramudu, okay, Musa Ram Bagh was established. Musa Ram Bagh. Musaram Bhagwas. Musaram Bhagwas established. Musaram Bhagwas established. That is one of the points you have to remember. On the name of this Musaramudu, Musaram Bhagwas established. His tomb was located at Malakpet. His tomb. So his tomb. His tomb was established at Located at Malakpet. His tomb was located at Malakpet. At Malakpet. That you have to remember. So like that all these important things. Uh, they happened in the period of. So this one. So then. In the period of this one. So this. What are the important things established by this one. Moti Mahal. Gulshan Mahal. Roshan Bangla. Etc. They were all. Established by this one. So there is in the period of this Nizam Ali Khan. Nizam Ali Khan constructed. Nizam Ali Khan constructed. Nizam Ali Khan constructed. Moti Mahal. Moti Mahal. Moti Mahal. Roshan Bangla. Roshan Bangla. Roshan Bangla, we can say. So there is Roshan Mahal, we can say otherwise. Roshan Mahal. Okay. Gulshan Mahal. Gulshan. Gulshan Mahal. Etc. were it's all established by this Nizam Ali Khan. In the period of this Nizam Ali Khan, good administration that was carried on. After him only, his son came to power. Okay. Thank you.